It's our 11th year and you have a sense of expectation as to what you want to do going into your first decade. We have fantastic guests, I have to say. I mean, I'm truly humbled by, you know, Tim Roth, Danny DeVito, Frank Langella, Joss Whedon, Mary Harron, Olivier Assayas, Costa Gavras. Um, I have to take breath. Um, it, there's a, a focus on European cinema this year as part of the Irish presidency, but that hasn't excluded, you know, as I said, directors from all over the world coming in. We have a director from Sri Lanka, we have a couple from Korea, we have a couple from India. Um, and I suppose in its 11th year, there's a sense of trying to actually encompass what's happening in world cinema um, and also trying to find a place for Irish cinema within that to try and find uh, the peers, the people who Irish filmmakers are working with or aspire to working with. Um, a very good example of that, for instance, is Marco Rowe. Um, Marco Rowe is an acclaimed screen screenwriter, playwright, and he's actually the writer and the inspiration behind the actual opening night film Broken, which is a, a new film by a first-time director um, with Tim Roth and Killian Murphy in the lead roles. And we're delighted that Tim Roth will be coming to the festival in a way to celebrate the type of independent cinema that uh, this film represents, but also the sort of marriage between Irish filmmakers and, as I said, their international peers. And the other end of the spectrum would be Hardy Books. You know, I mean, Hardy Books, the thing I wanted to do this year was to try and find humour, to find some laughs. We are having a tough time. We don't need any more doom and gloom. And there are definitely sprinklings of romantic comedies, laugh out loud comedies, and Hardy Bucks falls into that category. The other thing about it is, is it's unashamedly funny. Uh, it's got some guilty laughs in it. The other thing I found really sort of surprising, it's a snapshot of what Irish football fans had last year. So even when Hardy Bucks fades into our memories, it'll still be a record of what it was like to be Irish and to be a football fan in Poland and Poznan um, in 2012. And I think that's very very sweet. Um, I suppose the other focus I should mention alongside the laughs and the European is the sense of, of where documentaries are going. Um, I'm a huge documentary fan. Um, I think the fact that our closing night film will actually be Blood Rising, the world premiere of Mark McLaughlin's film about Juarez and the women who have disappeared in that Mexican city over the last 10 years is, is something that's really important for the festival to get behind and to support. And the fact that it's a, a project that we've been involved in from the very beginning, I think, makes it even more special. But it's a fantastic year for documentaries. I'm personally fascinated by the way in which people use animation now, the way in which they tell stories. And I hope that there's going to be some Thing, not just in the documentary program but throughout the festival for everyone.